Hi students, how are you? In the last class we have seen finding rank using row equivalent form and few problems have been given as homework. So were you able to do that? Any doubts? Okay children, now let us continue with the next topic. Uh, so already we have discussed what it means non-singular matrix. So non-singular matrix. Any idea regarding non-singular? We have already discussed. So non-singular matrix is nothing but the determinant value of a given matrix if it is not equal to zero. If the determinant value is not equal to zero, we say that the given matrix is non-singular. Now every non-singular matrix can be transformed to a identity matrix of order i n. Suppose if I have order i two, then the matrix is one zero zero one. Suppose if I have an order i three, one zero 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 one zero 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 one. So every non-singular matrix can be converted to a identity matrix. So let us go ahead with an example of how to convert a non-singular matrix to an identity matrix. So since this problem is completely new for you, let us uh, work out that example. Then we will enter with the help of that we are going to enter Gauss-Jordan method. So let us look into this example. Now here my question is. I have to prove that this matrix is non-singular. As well, we are supposed to convert this non-singular matrix to an identity matrix. Now, see here I have order three, so here I have to convert to a identity matrix of order three. Now, first let us prove this is non-singular. How to prove non-singular by by finding determinant? So, determinant of A equal to so B into deleting the corresponding row and corresponding column 0 plus 2 minus 1 into 2 1s are 2 plus 5 plus 4 into 4 now 0 plus 2 2 2 3 are 6 2 plus 5 7 7 into minus 1 minus 7 plus 16 16 plus 6 22 22 minus 7 my determinant value is 15, it is not equal to 0. So automatically A is non-singular. A is non-singular. So I have proved the given matrix is non-singular. Now I am going to convert this non-singular matrix to an identity matrix of R3. Right. 
zero. Zero minus two by three minus two by three minus one minus eight by three. When I take this here. Find row two, same way multiply row 
एलसीएम सिक्स थ्री टू सा टू इनटू माइनस सेवेंटी माइनस थर्टी फोर वन सा सो माइनस नाइन आई हैव माइनस फोर्टी फाइव एसिस दिस कैन बी रिड्यूस्ड एस माइनस थर्टी बाई टू सो नाउ मैं सो मैं वो वन आई हैव टेकन एस वन जीरो माइनस वन बाई टू Row two index as is zero one level by two. Row three is zero zero minus thirty by two. Follow each other. So almost I got one zero zero one zero zero. Now it is easy for me to transform this row three last column into one because row three already I got two zeros. So how to bring this same way? Take reciprocal of this and multiply. It. One. So now we need to learn matrices. One zero minus one by two zero one. I have one by two. So I am going to multiply by minus two by thirty, which becomes one. Follow. Now I should make these two elements as zeros. How to do? R one. I am going to multiply R three by one by two and add to R one. Going to multiply by R one by two R three, subtract from R two. So R one implies R one plus one by two R three. So one by two already I have minus one by two plus one by two becomes zero. Now R two implies R two. Plus minus eleven by two R three. So my I have R minus one zero minus one by two. I am going to multiply one by two R three. So zero zero one by two. I am going to add so one zero zero. Now let me take zero two. I have zero. Eleven by two. I am going to multiply row three by eleven by two. So zero zero eleven by two. Row two minus eleven by three row three. So I am going to subtract. So zero one minus zero one eleven by two minus eleven by two zero. So I have transformed. So one zero zero. My second row I have transformed zero one zero. My third row already I have zero zero one. So I have transformed the given non-singular matrix to an identity matrix of order three. Now shall we proceed with the cross channel method, children? Now let us enter into the first chart method. So before that, we have some preliminary ideas about. Suppose if the matrix and identity matrix with the given matrix A and B. Suppose vice versa, identity matrix simply A gives me the result B. Now suppose if I my product of matrix A B, if that is equal to B A, if that is equal to my identity matrix. When can this happen? This can happen only when B is inverse of A. So I can automatically say now my matrix A B equal to A inverse. So if this this can happen only if I have a matrix and for a given matrix, if I multiply its own inverse, I get an identity inverse. I get Inverse. So if A B equal to B A equal to B, automatically B is the inverse of A. B is the matrix inverse of A. Now what is Gauss-Jordan method? So Gauss-Jordan method is nothing but I have a matrix. 
the given every non singular matrix now only we saw can be transformed to an identity matrix now suppose if i have a matrix of a and i am going to open this matrix a to the right side and identity matrix i i am of the given order now if this if i am able to convert using only elementary row transformations if i am able to convert to the form of non singular matrix being converted to identity matrix of order n and i if i am able to bring this identity matrix that is nothing but my inverse this matrix is inverse and this method is called gauss jordan method so transforming a non singular matrix a to im by applying elementary row transformations is called gauss jordan method so i am augmenting the identity matrix to the right side of a to the right side of a and Slash my identity matrix 
first row remains as such. Second row being changed to minus 5 by 2, 1. Now, I have 1 minus, I need here 0, I need here 1. Okay, fine. So, to bring 1 is very simple. But to make 0, we have to think. Now, row 1 I have minus 1 by 2, row 2 I have 1 by 2. So, if I add row 1 and row 2, can I make this minus 1 by 2 as 0? So, I am going to do R1 plus R1 plus R2. So, this equal to 1 plus 0, 1. Minus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 becomes 0. Similarly, here also, 1 by 2 minus 5 by 2. So, you have same denominator. So, 1 minus 5 becomes minus 4 by 2. Nothing but minus 2. 0 plus 1 becomes 1. Keep checking to as such. For our children, now I got 1, 0, 0. I need only this element as 1. How to make this element as 1? So let me multiply the second row by 2. If I multiply second row by 2, 2 into 1 by 2 becomes 1. So let me completely multiply second row by 2. So R2 implies 2 times R2. I am going to multiply row 2 by 2. So my matrix becomes keep first row as such. Now second row 2 into 0, 2 into 1 by 2, 1. 2 into minus 5 by 2 into minus 5. 1 into 2, 2. Now this non-singular matrix being converted to identity matrix where the identity matrix being converted to a new matrix that is nothing but my A inverse. So my A inverse is Minus 2, 1, minus 5, 2. For our children. Any, any doubts children? This is totally a new methodology for you. That you have not been learned in your earlier classes. Only you are learning in one standard cross channel method. If you have any doubts, we will need to geo it. And you can clarify your doubts. All those over there. Shall we proceed on to the second problem children? Okay fine. So, look into the third problem, we have order 3. I have written the given matrix slash, let us write the identity matrix of order 3, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. Now, we are supposed to convert this non singular matrix to identity matrix and bring the new matrix A plus here. Okay, how to convert? Already I have one, so no problem. So, only with the help of elementary row transformations, we are going to carry on. So, R2 implies, I can subtract, I can bring here 0. So, R2 minus R1. R3 implies, R3 minus 6R1. Follow up children. Fine. Now, R2 minus R1, I think I can do it directly. Yes. Because we are not very grown up and we will know to subtract directly. Only this R3 minus 6 or let us see the calculation part. Now my R3 is 6 minus 2 minus 3 and here also 0, 0, 1. Okay. 6 times R1, 6 ones are 6, minus 6, 0, 6, 0, 0. Subtract. 6 minus 6 0, 6 minus 2 4, minus 3, 0 minus 6 minus 6, 0, 1 minus 0, 1. So keep R1 as such. So 1 minus 1 0, keep 1 0 0, R2, I am going to subtract R2 minus R1. So 1 minus 1, 0, here 0, minus of minus 1, plus 1, minus 1, 
minus zero, minus one. Similarly here, zero minus one becomes minus one. One minus zero, one zero. My O three we have done the addition on the right side. So we have zero four minus three minus six zero one. For our children, now we brought zero and one. Fine. Now how? Now my next step is I should bring these two elements zero. First thing. Second thing, I need to make this element zero. Third, I need to make these two as zero and one. Now it is very easy for me to make element four in row three with the help of this one. So I am going to multiply row two by four and subtract from row three. Four minus four. This also becomes zero. So possibly I have here zero one zero zero. So it is very easy for me. So let me carry on. R three plus R three minus four R two. So shall we proceed? Now write my calculation part. Zero four minus three minus six zero one. I am going to multiply row two by four. So zero four ones are four. Four into minus one minus four. Here also minus one into four minus four. One four are four. Zero four are zero. I am going to subtract. So all the places sign changes. Now zero minus zero zero. Four minus four zero. Four minus three one. Minus six plus four gives you minus two. Zero minus four minus four here one. Now my equivalent matrix. I have done transformation only for row three. So row one and row two remains as such. So one minus one zero. Here also zero one minus one. Let me write it on the right hand side also. One zero zero minus one one zero. Now my last row is. I got zero zero one minus two minus four one. So only our idea is to bring this zero. So but automatically this is also becoming one. So the last. Zero zero one. Fine. Now I should make this as zero, this as zero. How to proceed? First, if I take R one, I can make one plus zero one, but minus one plus one zero. But this element zero becomes a non-zero element. So first, what we should do? We should not carry on with row one. Before that, let us make this row two as zero. Row two as zero. Then it is easy for us to make this row one element minus one as zero. So let me R two. I am going to add it R three. Only then I don't have problem because I got my identity matrix zero zero one here in the last row. So R two. So here also we will carry on with elementary transformation directly, children. So my first row remains as such: one minus one zero. Here also one zero zero. My second row I am going to add with row three: zero plus zero, one plus zero, one. Minus one plus one becomes zero. Similarly, on the right side also, minus one minus two becomes minus three. Now here one minus four minus three. Then I have zero plus one one. Right row three as such. Now here also minus two minus four one. Now since I have 
my second row third row everything being converted to identity only the first row i need to bring 1 0 0 so row 1 if i add with row 2 it is very easy for me to bring this minus 1 as 0 so r1 implies r1 plus r2 so this becomes 1 plus 0 1 Minus one plus one zero zero plus zero zero. Now keep the remaining answers. Similarly, here also R one plus R two. One minus three minus two. Zero minus three minus three. Zero plus one one. Write the remaining two rows as it is. Now what I have made? I have made a non-singular matrix to an identity matrix of R three. So, non-singular matrix being converted to identity matrix, identity matrix being converted to new matrix A inverse. So, my A inverse is minus two, minus three, one, minus three, minus three, one, minus two, minus four, one. This is my A inverse. I hope so. You could have understood the first part of the. So let us end up today's class. And the homework for today's class is exercise 1.2, sum number three. The third subdivision you will complete as homework. As well, relatively you will have examples. Example 1.20 and 1.21. So try to work out all these problems as homework. If any doubts, please contact me. We will discuss that in GOE. Thank you, children.